Whether you're a newbie or a veteran reefer, sooner or later you'll find a coral that completely takes over. In this Reef Tips and Tricks video, I'll show you how I deal with it. As you can see, I started to mount frags on top of the coral that has taken over. The unwanted coral is very invasive and actually started growing over top of the corals I mounted just weeks ago. The first thing I do is remove any coral around the coral I want to cover. This way is easier just to get in all the nooks and crannies. I use a product called Rector Seal EP200 to mount frags with when plain super glue just doesn't work. This can be purchased at any Home Depot or Lowe's. It usually sits within around 5 minutes and it's completely hard around 15. It's completely reef safe and rated NSF. I like to use standard household dish gloves when working with this stuff. When the bond starts to happen, the putty will stick to your skin, but it doesn't stick to these gloves. They also leave indentations on the putty similar to a golf ball, so it looks more natural in a reef. First I take a small chunk and start mixing it together. After I feel the putty start to get firm, I dip it in aquarium water and it loosens it up right away, and it also helps from sticking to the gloves. After it is ready, I cover the unwanted coral in sections. I really think it would be impossible to cover a large area since the putty starts to harden within 5 minutes. I usually wait 20 minutes in between applications. Also this stuff is kind of toxic, so spacing it out is always a good thing. This putty really makes my skimmer go nuts so I have to keep an eye out to make sure it doesn't start overflowing. Well there you have it, that coral will not be coming back anytime soon. Coraline algae will cover the putty up in no time, but first I need to mount these frags. Watch my next video and I'll show you how I mount frags. Thank <laughs> you.